All right, welcome back everyone. Today we're going to do something really simple. Okay, we're going to share some tips and tricks that I've learned after using Helix for a while and hopefully they will help you boost your productivity when using Helix. Let's go. All right, the first tip or the first key binding that I really like is to select the entire line. Yeah, say for example, if you need to copy the current line or if you need to delete the current line right just go to the line and press x and then you can do whatever you want with it all right so for example if you want to delete this current line here we will say x to select the entire current line and then d for delete yeah so that's to select the current line okay and if you want to copy say this line same thing right x to select and then press y okay and you'll see at the bottom left corner it says yank one selection to register okay that means it has copy one right selection to the register right this entire line and then you can just paste it anywhere you want by pressing p right p for paste all right another shortcut key binding that i really like is the buffer list in Helix. So for example, if we open a bunch of files, uh, let's say this, and then maybe the cargo file, and let's do languages, for example. Right, so instead of using the space mode, right, by pressing space, and then opening up the file picker again, yeah, which is what we have here, Okay, we can do space mode and then press B to open up the buffer list. Right, so this will allow you to see what other files you have currently open. Yeah, so it's quite convenient. And it's usually a much smaller list, right, as compared to your entire file list, which is something like this. So if you want to search for something in the buffer list, usually it is much faster and will require less time yeah and not to mention that you can have a quick code preview on the right just above me yeah when you press up and down through the buffer list yeah so this is very very convenient all right next let's talk about something that's more important and that is search Right, so for example, let's go back to our user data trait dot rs here. So for example, obviously we are able to search within this file itself. Okay, so we can do that by using the forward slash key, right? By pressing it once, and you can see all the way at the bottom left, the search appears, and we can say, for example, we type in user, enter. Okay, so the first user got highlighted. Yeah, to go to the next found user, press N and Helix will cycle through them. Yeah, to go back to the previous user, you can press space, sorry, shift N, right, to go back to the previous. All right, so that is for searching in the current file. All right, okay, but what if you want to search through all your files? Yeah, so to do that, press space and then forward slash again so notice now instead of search it says global search right all the way at the bottom left corner yeah so once again we can say user enter okay so now instead of just highlighting the user the first user occurrence in the current file it will open up a list of files with all the occurrences of the word user right even those in the same files. You can see we have what? Three, four, five, six. Six occurrences of the word user in our session route file. Yeah. So this global search is really, really helpful. All right. So when we are talking about search, usually we want to do something with the items that we are searching for. Alright, so another powerful thing you can do in Helix is to have multiple selections and of course, perform multiple operations on it. So for example here, uh, we can select 
this few lines and then we can press S to select. Okay, so what this S does is to allow you to type what you want to select out from this few lines of selection. For example, we can say user, enter. Okay, and now notice that all the user words in the lines that we have selected have been highlighted and have been given a cursor to it. Okay, so if we press C now for clear, okay, notice now we can type anything we want and it will replace all the users at the same time. So for example, we can say instead of users, we can say places. Yeah, so notice how fast that was, right? Instead of us going to each and every user to replace it manually one by one, right? Just imagine how much more effort that will require. Yeah. So once we are done here, press the comma key and then we'll get back to one cursor. Yeah. So see, this is how much time you can save with this multiple selection feature. All right, the last thing that I want to share that I have found really, really useful is the go to mode, All right? So in Helix, if you press G, right? So you should see the go to menu appear right above me. Okay, there are a few things you can do, but some of the really, really useful and helpful uh, things you can do here are GG. So when you press G and G, it will bring you all the way to the top of the file. Or if you press G and then E, okay, you go all the way to the end of the file. And so this can be helpful, especially if you have a really huge uh, file, yeah, which I would not recommend. Yeah. Okay, another useful one is G L, right? Which allows you to go to the end of the current line. Yeah. And also one that I found really helpful is G D. Yeah, so that goes to the definition of wherever your cursor is at. Yeah, so notice just now we were here at user. When we press G D, it went to the definition of user, which is this uh, public struct. Yeah, so that is really, really helpful. Yeah. I mean, you can also go to references. So G, R. So once again, if I press G and then R on the user word here, right, it will show where we are using user. Yeah, so this is very, very convenient as well. Yeah. All right. So hopefully this has been helpful for you if you're learning Helix like me or if you're considering picking out Helix as well. Alright, do share in the comments below what other tips and tricks you have found while learning Helix. Yeah, so everyone can learn and grow together. Alright, and as always, stay awesome and stay safe. Cheers, man.